Nothing like a global pandemic to get you thinking about your inevitable demise. Not something we often or maybe even ever enjoy thinking about, but nonetheless, here we are in a pessimist sweat dream. Cue the logo! How do you guys like my quarantine stash? Kenna loves it. I wanna go for like a Kurt Russell in Tombstone kind of thing. If you guys do like the stash, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if not, then still hit that thumbs up button because every like helps the channel grow and Kenna will no doubt shave it in my sleep anyway, so enjoy it while it lasts. This week we'll be talking about everyone's favorite topic, life insurance. Specifically, life insurance as it relates to a pandemic. Now, all jokes aside, this isn't exactly a topic that gets thrown around the dinner table with a lot of enthusiasm. But because of this, most people have no idea where to even start a conversation about life insurance, let alone the differences between companies, riders, and my favorite, the tax leveraging. More on that later. But for right now, let's just talk about can you even get it? Because right now, fears are high. And those fears are legitimate. And just because it's not a sexy topic, doesn't mean it isn't need to know information. Okay, short answer. Can you get life insurance during a pandemic? The answer is yes, for now. This is obviously assuming that you're healthy enough outside of a global crisis to qualify for coverage, but companies are already narrowing their window. AIG put out a statement in the beginning of April that reads the following. <clears throat> Any case where the proposed insurance has plans to travel internationally between now and the end of the year, the end of the year, will be postponed. Which basically means when all this is over, which also means they don't freaking know. It's kind of an arbitrary date at this point anyway. For individuals over the age of 70, postponed. For individuals in their 60s, postponed. Except those in tip-top health. For individuals in their 50s, postponed. Except those in tip-top health, and maybe some others. The individuals less than age 50, anyone who's not in great health to begin with, postpone. Any case where the proposed insurance has been diagnosed with COVID-19 will be postponed until 30 days after they've been considered fully recovered. That was AIG, now this is Pacific Life. Individuals 71 or older, postponed. Individuals who are basically in bad health but otherwise would be approved, postponed. Now, if you fall into one of these categories, with the exception of actively having the virus, there are some companies who have not narrowed their application window yet. These companies include, at the time of filming this, National Life Group and American National. And there may be some others that I don't know about. But that doesn't mean that they won't, or that there couldn't be even further narrowing through the companies who already have, depending on how the next few months go. So if you've thought about, or are thinking about applying for life insurance, and I know this sounds morbid, do it while you still can. It's cheaper the younger you are anyway. Oh, that brings up a good question. Is it gonna be more expensive during a pandemic? No. Anyway, if you guys like this information, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any updates about any carriers that I might have missed, please drop those in the comment section so that everyone can stay informed and up to date. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will be back next week with more tips.